It's a disaster. Maybe we should scare it away. Shoot at it or something. Shoot it? What's going on? Ask Azan. Makes me sick just to talk about it. There's a problem with the Galenta, sir. Describe problem. The Galenta is eating all the Morax. Every single one of them. It uses its trunk to suck them all in. Leaving the treetops clean with nothing left to harvest. Damn it. What's Doc saying about all the- Help! Someone help me! Asen! Protector! You're hurt! Who did this to you? I... We have to... The others! All reverted! The invaders! We came across a patrol! They're coming! Azan, I need your team to cover the treetops. Yes, sir! More. Make sure everyone takes cover inside. Now! Exactly as I foretold. Doc, you imbecile! You have brought this on us! That's so. I don't want to hear more excuses! You are not welcome in Emir! I sentence you to exile! Wait! Doc is not responsible for the attack! You are! I call for the election! How dare you! I am your chief! A true chief! would never lead a patrol of reverting machines to our village. I have a witness who saw you, Hatzo. Traitor! You are banished from here! I will stay and become the new chief of Emiya. Ah, instead of protecting your village against the invaders, you shot at the Galenta to scare it away. I saw it with my own eyes. Ulukai, where is my daughter? I don't see her anywhere. Oh my god. Did the invaders? Did Calm they... down, Doc. I'm sure she's fine. Leave them to their political quarrel. Let's split up and find her.
this. me now, circus bots. all these Morax end up here? Wait here. <sighs> here you are. Doc, I found her. She's just... eating something. Okay, let's do this. They're coming for me!
the whole battalion, huh? Keep it moving. I did scare the Galanter away, to protect her. Oh, cut the Zort, Moor. You saw an opportunity to get rid of her and save your precious Morags, so you took it. Maybe, but at least I didn't put the whole village at risk to get rid of the goddamn creature. That's what you did. Amir is in danger as long as you lead it. Now let's have the citizens decide who should be the chief. Traitor, traitor yourself. Hey, why don't you two cut it out? While you're wasting your saliva blaming each other, someone actually found a solution to your problem. How are you still here? You are Emir's problem. We were perfectly fine before you showed up. I banish you. You have no right, Hatzo. The election is not over. Let him speak. I want to hear about what... Huh? Look! The monster is back! There's someone on her back. It looks like someone's riding her. Doc? Look! It's Doc! Doc is riding the Galenta! <laughs> now, be a good girl. Show them what you can do. I wouldn't stay there if I were you! What is... By the yacht. This is so disgusting. Beautiful. Well done, girl. Well done. Now let's swipe more and more axe for the harvest. Go! These Morags are perfectly intact. The Galento was not eating the Morags. Oh, she was storing them. And Doc found a plant that you guys can use to have the Galenta. Um, returning them. Doc saved the harvest! The Galenta saved Amiya! Vote for Doc! Doc is our new chief! Vote for Doc! <laughs> Vote for... Wait, what? What did you just say? I'm sorry, Doc. Woo! You're right, and I was wrong. I will accept whatever punishment my leader gives me. What you did was wrong, Mor. But to err is to learn. I accept your apologies, my friend. I'm happy you didn't hurt my baby. Speaking of hurting, enjoy your new title while it lasts, idiot. There will be more attacks. More Talans will bleed. When they realize what a fool you are and beg me to fix your mess, I will be here. No, you won't. Hatso, 
As the new leader of EMEA, I, Doc, son of Casimir and mother of the Galenta, sentence you to exile. You will leave EMEA never to return. May the Yards have mercy on you. Now go, and don't look back. You are making a terrible mistake. The Yards haven't spoken their last word yet. Don't come crying to me when the invaders wreak their vengeance upon you. I'm sorry I didn't tell you about the Twan House. We couldn't risk you freaking out. It's okay. I'm sorry that I don't have a trunk, but it might also be that trunks are overrated when the tongue of a Twan Ha can do the same job. I have a tongue. I could help. Don't even think about it. Okay. The village won't survive another attack if I'm not around. I know. I cannot ask you to stay here. I'll ask Azan to train more protectors. Azan's bow can't do much against the invaders, I'm afraid. What are you suggesting, my friend? I don't know. Maybe the Dalatai Guardians can help secure the village if they have access to proper weapons. You're the leader now. It's your call. I am not a coward like Hatso. We will fight these invaders with whatever we have. Amiya is looking good. Nice job, Doc. The village is good, but the villagers are despairing. Are you kidding me? What do they have to complain about? You guys are safe. The harvest is harvesting, no climbers falling from the treetops anymore, and Zorkins for everyone. I mean, tie a few hammocks to those trees and Amiya wouldn't be far from my idea of paradise. They're children, Ulukai. They miss their children. The young Talans who went north for work have probably been captured by the invaders. I believe they are now slaves in the Helidium mines of Desan. I want them free. Back where they belong. Back to their families. The same families who called you a fool not so long ago? To lead Amiya, I must leave my past behind. 
These families are my family. It's my duty to help them. Is the Galenda in any kind of trouble? It looks fine to me. Look again! She is in pain, Ulukai! Can't you hear it? She cries all moon long! I'm her mother, and I don't know how to help her! You have to do something! What do you want me to do? Please don't ask for a bedtime story. I don't know any of those. Those damned Kim and I are attacking her! They've been circling the village, lured in by the stench of our ventilopes. Azan knows how to handle a few more wings. Be cool. <sighs> I will not be cool! Azan can keep the Kem and I away from the ventilopes, but he cannot shoot anywhere around my daughter. The Kem and I are smart, so they stick to her back like parasites and feed on her. Ugh. Ripping her flesh apart, bite after bite, and I can only stand here watching. Azan is not skilled enough. He would miss the target and hurt my baby even more. Okay, okay, let me handle this. Your girl is taking care of the harvest all by herself? Not bad. I told you to keep the faith, Ulukai. The will of the Yods is finally revealed. Amiya prospers. Yeah, I wouldn't pop the champagne quite yet. The invaders could come back at you with everything they got. End your worries, Ulukai. Azan is training more protectors. Morag harvesting is back on track. Amiya is growing stronger than it ever was. They have enough firepower to raise this place to the ground. Stay sharp, Doc. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. All right, watch your back, Doc. It is impossible to watch my back, Ulukai. It is my back. What's up, Moore? Find any new climbers? No one as valuable as Doc. I have a bad feeling about Hatso. Is he a sore loser? He chose exile, not out of dignity, but out of fear. He knows the invaders will return here with force. But I have known Hatso for many moons. He'll be back with a vengeance. What about you? No hard feelings? You wanted to become a chief. Ah, all I ever wanted was respect from my social class. Doc comes from the treetops, just like I did. He gave me new responsibilities. He has all my support. New responsibilities? Doc has tasked me with the breeding of Quart, the vomiting plant. My people have started to grow it in the treetops so that Galenta has easy access to it. However, there are complications. What's the problem? Quart lasts for many cycles, but it only grows during the rainy season. If we want to accelerate its development now, we need more water. I don't remember the last time it rained in this dimension, so what's plan B? Azan captured a ventilope and tried to teach it to suck water from the lakes and spray it on the plants. But ventilopes are wild, and Azan is no tamer. He kept threatening the animal with his bow. I wouldn't have fared any better. Yeah, well, the ventilope has gone now. Azan shut it, and it blew away. Can't you get an expert to tame the damn birds? To tame a ventilope, you need one. Many moons of practice. And two, a venom. Ventilopes are very rare in the mere. Azan only caught one by mistake. He was aiming at something else completely. When I was a kid, I taught our parrot to imitate the sound of the doorbell. Drove my mom nuts. That's the limit of my bird training skills, though. You know where I can find an expert? Sap has been quite successful at training their ventilopes to fish. A tamer there could teach him how to water our plants. Zorkins won't be an issue if he can strike us a deal with Sap. Here. When could I ever say no to the beach? I'll find someone. Maybe they rent surfboards over there. The Zorkins I gave you are not for leisure time. Can't a man get one single day off? Jeez. Catch you later, Moore. Much later, okay? 